Hey, what's up everybody? Akeem here and in today's Fix of Entertainment News, Keanu's coming to Sonic, Borderlands movie news you might be interested in, plus a whole lot more in today's Fix. Let's drop it. <laughs> Presented by Fallout, stream all episodes now only on Prime Video. Keanu Reeves is stepping into the shadows as the voice of Shadow in the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie. Now this shouldn't come as a surprise or a shocker to Sonic fans as it was foreshadowed, kind of sorta, that he could possibly be joining the ranks of Sonic's rogues gallery. Take a look. Please, 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 please. Yes, Keanu! You are a national treasure. When I find you. Pop quiz, hotshot. There's a bomb on a bus. Pop quiz, hotshot. It's a classic line. Yeah, y'all remember that scene? He is indeed a national treasure. And now he's part of Sega's most coveted franchise. Along with Keanu, Idris Elba will be lending his vocals to the movie as Knuckles reprising his role from Sonic 2. And yes, gamers, we all know what you're thinking. Two actors who lended their vocals and likenesses to portray characters in Cyberpunk 2077 are now VAs as Shadow and Knuckles? in the Sonic movie? Uh, what a world we live in. It's a beautiful world. Now there's no doubt that there's gonna be like artists currently drawing mashups of both Shadow Johnny Silverhand and Knuckles Solomon Reed for the fan art community to just salivate at how breathtaking this combination surely is. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. And Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is sure to take our breaths away in theaters December 20th. In other voice actor news, that dude behind the voice of 3 Dog in Fallout 3 wants to be in season two of the Fallout series. Now, Eric Todd Dellums tweeted this message in response to a fan tagging him, to which the 3 Dog VA said he'd love to voice a new DJ in the series as he's been cooking up something very special and new he's ready to share. Eric's only role in Fallout was in 2008, but it was so memorable that it wouldn't be a surprise to see him lend his vocal to season two in some capacity. So, you know, Todd Howard and the, the forces that be at Prime Video take notice. Uh, anyways, Fallout is currently streaming right now on Prime Video, so check it out. And finally, the actor portraying Tiny Tina in Eli Roth's Borderlands movie apparently based her take on the character on Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. Yeah, uh, actor Ariana Greenblatt told us here at IGN that while she was reading sides for the Barbie movie, she actually told Margot Robbie that she took inspiration from Margot's rendition of Harley Quinn. Now she said, quote, I watched how she prepared and she read the comic books and she did so much work to build Harley and watching her help me build Tina. Uh, this admission to Margot Robbie might have actually helped her in getting the role of Sasha in the 2023 blockbuster Barbie movie. Now, kind of crazy when you think about this, that she'd take inspiration from a, a DC movie instead of, I don't know, like entrenching herself in the games to not only harness what Ashley Birch brought to the role of Tiny Tina, but also giving longtime fans of the video games what they'd actually want to see in live action from the character. Now, Greenblatt did, however, FaceTime Ashley Birch, the original voice actor of Tiny Tina, but she opted to go a different direction with her take on the character. Now, according to the young actress, the voice of Tiny Tina is too hard to do. I mean, this quote is wild. I'll just read it verbatim. The original voice of Tina is so loved and it's so hard to do. And I thought about it a lot because I was like, I could completely change my voice and do a very cartoon character, but then I thought about the people who might have never heard of Borderlands before and don't like video games and just want to watch for the cast or the director or whatever the reason would be. What the hell? So you did this for people who don't like video games? Why the hell would you put average moviegoers before fans of the video game? This is a video game based movie. Ain't nobody going to see this movie that knows nothing about the damn video games. As a fan of the video games, I can say that this movie looks horrible based on the trailer, but I'm going to give it a chance because because I am a fan of the video games. Now, I want y'all to take into consideration someone that has never even seen or played the video game and what they probably thought when they saw this Technicolor nightmare trailer. 
Huh? What do you think they thought? Now you put the wrong audience first with this one, but you know what? We'll all see what we can expect in theaters August 9th. Can't believe I'm so upset about this. I shouldn't be, but I am. And that about does it for your Fix of Entertainment news for today. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous video. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.